All right, there we go. We got the dog out. He's walking away. Just again, this is what we're actually looking at. This is uh, real, real time with no night vision. And then, boom, he fucking disappeared. All right, guys, it's Blue. I'm here. This is not going to be a preview, a review, any type of video like that. This is just a, hey, check out this kick-ass uh, monocular night vision. Uh, it's the L3 Warrior Systems. Uh, it's a monocular night vision device. I got to borrow this for a couple days. This is not mine. But uh, I just wanted to show you guys it, uh, do a couple uh, tests with it. But uh, it, this thing's pretty kick-ass. So let's check this out. This is a monocular. Uh, this is the second one that I've got a chance to use. The first one was really bad. Uh, it, it really didn't work. It just kind of put a green light around everything. Uh, but this system comes with a pretty cool uh, carrying bag. Uh, the one thing I will say that I don't like about the carry bag, this is almost a $5,000 piece of equipment. And the carry bag that it comes with is just your standard nylon pouch it has no foam no protection no anything which i think kind of sucks if you're going to pay that much money for something uh it also comes with a head uh, head rig uh kind of like a hard hat inner part of that uh with all the flip down stuff so you can use it as a monocular comes with uh a rail so you can mount it on your rifle if you want to which i'm going to kind of do that i don't have the rail or the, the mounting system because the other person has it on theirs uh, on their rifle, but I just got to use this. So let's check it out real quick. Uh, it's pretty easy uh, to, to use and to function. Uh, this back switch is your on off, as you guys can see, if it would focus. You just got to pull the switch back, turn it on, turn it off. Uh, and then you can also turn on uh, right in here where my thumb is. It does put out a little uh, IR light for a little extra lighting, or I guess it's uh, used for uh, signaling to other individuals that are using the night vision uh, the end cap which i am glad that the guy explained this to me uh, the end cap you can use this like right now with the, the lights on but if you do it without the end cap on there's a possibility you could fry the internal mechanisms of it and it wouldn't work correctly but if you notice it has a little tiny pinhole and uh, i've been in complete darkness and just turned this thing on with just the pinhole and i was amazed at, at everything i could see and then I took the cap off and it was just boom. It was like, it was awesome. Uh, this is like your standard binocular uh, focusing. You can turn it whichever way for the gain or to decrease the gain so that uh, your eye isn't stressed out. It's pretty cool. It's definitely pretty cool. I've been on a couple back roads with this. Shut the lights completely off and drove around with <laughs> just this on, uh, on, the, on the back roads. I will say it makes me sick, literally, because um, it messes with you because you can still see through your uh, your non-dominant eye, and it, just, it really messes with you, and I get uh, motion sick easy, and this definitely does it to me every time. So let's, uh, I'm not, like I said, I'm not going to get into the specs about it because I don't know. I'm not the guy to talk about specs for a piece of equipment like this, but this is just awesome. So I'm going to... Well, it literally just started raining. I'm going to wait for the rain to pass, and then we're going to go for a walk uh, out in my yard. It is complete darkness. Right now it's, uh, uh, what time is it? 1 o'clock in the morning. So we'll take a look through this, and then I'm going to try to, uh, since I don't have the mount for my rifle for it, I'm just going to try to hold my rifle and hold this through it with the camera and see if we can get a, a vision of what it would look like through just a... Uh, very cheap red dot so all right guys we'll be back in a moment all right this is going to be take two of the outside walkabout because i forgot to kick off my motion lights and as soon as i started walking around i was like damn it but uh this is my yard uh here's the other neighbor's house and you can just make out the uh uh car in the driveway and if i was a guessing man that is about 500 feet away is that car so we'll continue down around these woods are relatively close and you can see the one back light still kicked on uh there's without the monocular which with the naked eye i can still kind of see my garden posts and everything uh but there you can really really see it uh, but none of that light is kicking up this far 
And there's my neighbor's house there, not the house, but the car. And there is without any of the, uh, the, uh, night vision. So this thing is kick ass. You could definitely make out if you had somebody walking across doing whatever. And there's my dog. Let me see if I can get him to go chase a ball or something. I think that'd be kind of cool. Oh, there was some lightning. All right. Be right back. All right. So there's the dog. He's out looking for his ball, which I just threw. And you, you can clearly, clearly see that's a dog. That's a shepherd. He's real close to me now. Whew. Go find it. Right now he is about 20 feet away. 30. Oh, where did my sight picture go? There we go. About 40 feet maybe. But there's with him on that. And there is what basically, I, I can't see him to the naked eye. But whenever I put this up, bam. So that's pretty cool. All right, I'm going to go grab the rifle. I'm going to see if I can somehow get it to uh, go through my red dot. And uh, we'll see if we can light up a, a scope picture for you. All right, guys, I tried to put the, uh, there's my other neighbor's house. Tried to put the uh, monocular up with the rifle, but since I don't have the mount, there's no way I can hold the rifle, the monocular, plus a camera trying to line everything up to get it going. I could do it with just the rifle and the monocular, and I could definitely, good sight picture, no doubt. Uh, it would take some getting used to, but it definitely worked. But uh, yeah, that's just awesome. You turn light. Actually, I guess it would be you turn night into light. <laughs> that's a good catchphrase. All right, guys, I'm out of here. Just wanted to give you a... Uh, not an idea, but uh, just a, a <laughs> how awesome is this? You know, don't ask me any questions. I won't have the answers. This is just a me playing with a new piece of equipment that I got to borrow. All right, guys. See ya.